This is the future. In this video, we won't talk about Arcane Energize. We know that it's the number one most expensive arcane in the game now, and we know that it's only available in the Eidolons hunts at the moment, or rewards in the Nightwave mission. I want to talk about a newer arcane but also not in the Duveri paradox because honestly, some players are not a big fan of diving into Duveri missions anymore. Let's talk about arcane steadfast, secondary kinship, arcane double back, primary plate to drowned, and the best among the bunch, the secondary encumber. Right now, secondary encumber is being sold for 370 platinum in average on PC market, and I was interested to farm this during my stream when someone in the chat said that these arcanes are one of the most expensive ones that are being sold in the market right now. Honestly, I think they are worth the price because the grind to farm these arcanes is absolutely horrible. First of all, the reward pool of the mirror defense mission is diluted with other rewards. The arcane rewards are competing against citrine parts, weapon parts, and also Axxion's Neo Relics. In addition to this, the number of players doing the mirror defense mission is pretty small, and I bet that the ones who are doing this mission types are those who are farming the weapon and dwarf frame parts in the reward pool. So, is it really that hard? Mirror defense is not hard and in fact, there's a way to solo farm the arcanes and make some platinum out of it. It's not hard, and it's not a popular platinum making since only a few players are playing the game mode. I really can't blame them though as once you obtain the weapon and warframe parts, they're nothing worth farming anymore in this game mode. Unlike Zariman missions, which can give you incarn and weapons, endo, and even platinum once you buy arcanes like mold augmented with your standings, and then sell them to other players for platinum. Tyana pass mirror defense is fairly easy but no one wants to do it since you can't get more rewards from doing the mission. Hence I think the prices of these arcanes became expensive. Players are willing to pay 300 plus platinum for a max rank secondary encumber because they don't want to the grind that the mirror defense has installed for them. But in reality, the mission is not hard, and you can actually take advantage of this to sell these arcanes to other players for platinum. First of all, the mirror defense is basically a defense mission with a twist. You defense one crystal for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, then you go proceed to the next crystal and defend it for the same amount of time. The first crystal will be hoarded by Grineer units, and the second one will be hoarded by Corpus units. Also, there are crystals that are placed in different spots of the mission, which you can see also in your mini-map depicted by a blue mineral-like symbol. You need to gather this so you will get additional Rainier and Belric crystal fragments. The mirror defense has the same AABC reward rotation, and my best advice is to run the mission until wave 4, extract and then run again. The reason behind this is because there's no point doing an endless runs, and facing high level enemies in the mirror defense. Currently, the crystals you are trying to defend doesn't scale its health to the enemy levels. That after doing it for like an hour, the crystal will easily get smashed by the corpus units. In addition, there's no point in doing long runs since there are no increase the chances of getting arcanes as rewards. The arcanes usually drop in wave 3 and 4, and after that, you will then return to the A, A, and B rotation with the same drop rate. Around wave 3, you can gather 60 Rainier and Belric crystals which you can use to purchase secondary encumber from Otak in Necrolesque. For the Warframe recommendation, I highly suggest that you go with the Max Range Titania with this build. Max Range Titania allows you to crowd control enemies using her lantern and allows you to somehow keep the crystals at pressed in condition until wave 4. If you have a team of Titania, or someone that can defend the crystals like Frost or even an Octavia that can both crowd control and kill enemies, then you can do more waves and collect as many as 120 Rainia and Belric crystals before leaving the mission. But again, I advise you not to go further from wave 4 since once a crystal is destroyed, then you will fail the mission and you won't get any rewards at all. Yes, all that hard grind will be worth for nothing since you won't get any rewards from running longer runs in this mission so, it's better to do it max in wave 4 then just rerun the whole thing. Now, let me answer the question I have posted in the thumbnail of this video. Is this a good platinum farm method? Well, if you compare it with the reliable prime parts farming, riven rerolling, prime mods selling, or even arcanes from idolands or bounties such as the Zariman, the mirror defense mission farm for platinum is probably at the bottom tier. 
However, as a long time player like me, I just tend to do missions in the game that will earn me platinum and, I just added the mirror defense in my daily routine to accomplish. Since there's no use for me in farming prime parts right now as there are no new prime access, what I'm usually doing is farm the Zariman bounties first to get standings for Molt Augmented to sell them for platinum. After that, I head to the profit taker to farm some credits and at the same time, farm standings which I can trade for relic packs from Smokefinger. After that, I do steel path levels to farm steel essence and get Kuvo or relic packs. And then, the last chore will be this mirror defense. And I'm planning to have this as last in my daily to-do list, farm until wave 4 and call it a day. Eventually, after a week or so of farming, I'll end up maxing the secondary encumber and I can sell it for 300 plus platinum to another player. Right now, I really need to restore my platinum numbers as I'll be burning more with the new builds that are coming with the Abyss of Dagath update, and as well as Whispers of the Wall. So, having another way to earn platinum is a huge help for me. Before I end this video, I would like to give a huge shout out to the guy who have suggested trying out the mirror defense as it could possibly give me some platinum. Also, I would like to give a huge shout out to Mr. Gods for helping me out do this content. I am streaming and playing with my viewers on Twitch right now, so if you have time, then feel free to come and join the fun. The link to my Twitch channel is at the video description below. See you there and thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.